Hi, I'm going to do one final video. I know you're probably sick of hearing my voice. So here I am. <clears throat> I'm in my course home. As I said, you've got all your great stuff going on here. And if you look here on my catalog, my calendar, I had put a court, excuse me, a project that's assigned. So all your cat, excuse me, calendaring needs. If you click on that, it shows you what stuff is due. If I click on this and go to the bottom, it shows project one availability ends. Excuse me. So you can do whatever you want with the calendaring. You can create events, put what it is, when it's due, and all that, and it will help your students if you want to do that. I actually just, for my face-to-face -face class, I just use the course outline. I live by it. I tell them they need to live by it. My online class, I do fill it out, but it's, it's honestly what you want to do. My last thing I want to do, announcements, and I hope if you've never used them, they're not that hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an announcement. So you can go here and do create an announcement, and I'm going to do welcome. Oops, it'd be helping if I spelled it welcome. Okay, so I'm going to put something like, it's very basic, it'll be like um, class, I'm very excited to meet you on the first day. Have a look around. And bring your questions. On the first day. Sometimes that helps me with the email and it keeps it down. Okay. Um, I have attached my office hours okay and when i did this is i made a jpeg of my actual faculty um page so let me show you what i'm going to do so i'm going to go here and attach a file and i don't know if you know this you can record a message and it'll play for them when it starts um, i think it's a great idea but for me like i never have my volume on so i never hear them so i'm going to go to here and I'm going to grab my office hours and I'm going to add it and publish. So my office hours are here. So if they click on it, it'll download it and open it for them. If you want to, another thing you can do is I'm going to edit this. And what I can do is this. So here I am. Okay. Office hours. I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go up to this thing that looks like a chain link fence and I'm going to scroll down. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to do course file. And then I'm going to go to. Oh, because I haven't put anywhere, it's not going to let me to it. So let me go back and look for something. Oh, I did it in the wrong place. Sorry. So if you've never seen this, there's stuff you can do based on the announcements, the chat and all that. This is not what you want. You want this. I want to insert stuff. So I'm going to go to my computer, choose the file, I'm going to go back and do office hours, and then I'm going to do upload. I'm going to do insert. Oh, link text. You always want to do this for the screen readers. So let me get it in there. Why is it? Office hours. And then I'm going to do insert. Oops. Oops. And it needs me to. Sorry. Okay, so I go down. I'm going to do this office hours. You need to do both. I totally forgot about that. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And let's see what it does. If I do update and I go down, boom, look at that. I've got my office hours in there. And I have them down here if they want to download them, but for here it's showing up. So you can do your old, the old office template if you want. I put it in the first day, welcome to my students for my face-to-face -face class. So it's always there because I really don't do a lot of announcements in my face-to-face -face class unless like class is canceled. All right, that's how you make announcements. I think I've covered everything for the new class. Um, if you get stuck, let me know. I'll be here to help you. And again, Go play with the content. Everything's set up like we said. You just go like to module two or even module one. And again, the introduction and the basics is really slow. But if you go to any of the PowerPoint and extra note pages, 
it has the PowerPoints that you want to use. You just download them. So let me see. If I click on it, it comes up for me as a PDF. And it'll take a while, and then you can do this and download it to your computer. You see up here where it has the download. Just download it. And they have everything you need. We're basically, they're basically the same thing. We just took a lot of the stuff out that we weren't using or that we weren't really covering in great depth. And again, there's videos, especially if you get to the harder stuff like in module three and four and you're like, I do not remember this. That's great. Just watch the videos. I promise there's times I go back and look at my stuff, especially on hypothesis testing to keep everything straight. All right. I think that's it. And again, just email me. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.